everybody welcome to my channel um, if you're new to my channel I appreciate you tuning in probably came over from Elizabeth at Never Hopeless who um, gives me shout shout outs all the time and I appreciate that anyway I am in the middle of my Fobonichi flip for January February March um, so this is where this was the page I did last nice colorful page and then we get to this mostly black and white page um, it had been raining for <clears throat> like a week, at least, and um, it wasn't intentional. I, I printed this page. I tried to print this page in color. This was a collage sheet that Elizabeth at Never Hopeless posted in our um, journalers group, and I accidentally printed it, printed it in black and white and actually really liked the way it turned out and um, lets the writing show a little more and kind of reflected my gloomy weather attitude. So anyway, most of this is about um, a, doc a dentist appointment I made. I've been in my house for about five years on the other side of town from where I grew up and was still going to providers back in the old neighborhood. So finally, after five years, I made new, new providers. So this is just really about my dental appointment. Um, this is the back of a like a when you buy a craft thing so it was like chalk edgers which i think i showed in my last video so anyway i just journaled on it printed out the picture of the dental x-rays then my dentist sent me a little note and he hand wrote it isn't that cool he's a new dentist so there that shows you what that means he won't do that when he gets busy <laughs> anyway and then this is believe it or not all about my dental appointment and my thoughts on it and the fact that they want to fix a cracked tooth and how much that's gonna cost me. So anyway, hopefully you can see this, hope I'm in frame. So anyway, I made this little pocket page here, another idea from Elizabeth, um, and just tucked it in there and did the little half circle here so I could you know, easily pull those things out. And then this page came from a Stampington magazine. So I liked it, I put here, it has rained every day this week, so this is my rainy week page. Um, so all of this is part of the original page created by Lisa Goodman. And this is actually a little um, note from a notepad. Um, my sister and I, the weekend before, had gone to this um, like thrift shop, and they just had this little stack of notepads, like partially used or not, you know, there wasn't writing on them. It was just like half of a book, note page, book. Oh my gosh, I never can speak when I get on camera. Um, so anyway, I picked up a bunch of them, and so this was one of them. And then this Stampington page was not quite as big as the page that was attached to it. I always put two pages together for some reason. So I filled up the empty space with um, just some lace that I had and made this another little pocket page. And here's two things that came from the Stampington magazine. So the actual background is... Um, scrapbook paper that I have that I've been trying to use up and then I just added uh, this little girl from Stampington and gave her a little piece of washi to stand on and then this little girl came from there also another little piece of washi this is a uh, Jane Davenport washi love that and this little flower also came from Stampington they're all by Terry Colty wanted to make sure and give credit to those artists these are not mine and then um, more talk about doctor's appointments because I got a new doctor provider as well. And then I made this little date cluster. I'm not sure if you can see it. Anyway, I put this little, it's like some scrap paper and some cheesecloth and then I um, glued on a little button. Um, this is more um, stuff from Stampington from that same artist, Terry Colty. And, um, the rest of this is mostly about some workers I had in the house fixing a little place in the ceiling that had been leaking. And then um, a, a order I got from Brooke at Recreations by Brooke in her Etsy shop. And I had ordered these um, vintage postcards, which um, these are so awesome. I don't know if you can see this, but this card is uh, postmarked 1917. 
And she sent this postcard, and all she did was put the lady's name and then Upton, Massachusetts. There's no street address, no zip code. I just find that fascinating that we used to send things through the mail like that, but I guess that was a different time, right? So anyway, I had bought these postcards because I saw this. Somebody on YouTube um, had used them and then cut them in little bits and made things out of them. And... Of course, there's two things. Once I got the postcards, I couldn't find the YouTube video anymore. I wish they had like little folders you could put things in. Maybe they do. Maybe I just don't know. If you know somewhere, I know you can click your save button, but then I never go back. Anyway, but then I couldn't, I couldn't cut up the little old lady handwriting. Everybody on the group said, cut it up. Don't worry about it. But I just, I just think it's so sweet. I mean, it's lasted all this time. I just can't, like a hundred years, I can't bear to cut it up. So anyway, moving on. Um, this is another notepad that I got in the little free notepad section. And then the sun finally came out, so I couldn't stand it. I had to make a nice, pretty, bright page. This is a um, food color dyed page. And then I have this um, face stamp that I've used on several things. I've used it for the moon several times. And so I used it here for the sun. And I took this picture of some daffodils in my side yard. It's kind of a, at, the, at this time in February, it was all, you know, dark colors and nothing was blooming, no grass. It's just all mostly browns and grays and tans, etc. And then right in the middle of that, the sun was just shining on this little patch of daisy, or daffodils, sorry, not daisies. And I just, I thought it was beautiful. So I printed that out. Um, here's another food color dyed page, um, just a bunch of um, notepads. I like tore paper up and inked the edges. Um, just talking about some, some things I'm doing for self-improvement, um, another doctor's appointment, some uh, TV. These little TV stickers came from, from Felicia and the Fobonichi Journalers Group, and I think it's adorable. And then this is the Lister's Got a List, of course and more doctor stuff. It's all boring stuff. Um, and then this page, um, I found this, I believe, this came from a, the Man Mantra Wellness Magazine, which Allison at um, AJ's Inspired Life <clears throat> did a little flip of this magazine. I'll, um, I'll link her below, or I'll try and find that actual video where she um, flipped through the magazine. They have such great, I mean, they have great articles, but they have great pictures as well. So I made a little pocket just using regular um, paper, or actually I think it might be um, cardstock, and then I just inked up the edges. So it's all about, um, this is, I think, more than just lemons. There's ginger and oranges and whatever. But my sister, when she came the weekend before, had um, was drinking lemon water. People at work have been drinking lemon water. So and I don't really care for lemon, but... When it was warmed up, it wasn't too bad. So I've been trying to do that every morning. So anyway, here's just some little tags I made. This was about if you want 2019 to be your year, which I didn't print out until the end of February. Here's this mantra, mantra, wellness, and about all the stores I had to go to to find it. I went to like five stores that I don't normally go to and finally found it at Target which I don't go to normally. And so then I just went home and ordered a year subscription. So I won't have to be out hunting for it anymore. Anyway, it's a really great magazine. Um, and it's not very expensive either. I think with the shipping, it was still, I want to say $15, something like that. Anyway, um, and then I cut this out of the, um, cut this out of the magazine just listed a bunch of uh, the health benefits of drinking lemon water on an empty stomach. And this had popped up in my Facebook feed that day. Um, this is when my grandsons were six and three. Now they're 10 and seven. But anyway, I just thought it was really cute. It shows them sitting on their dad's legs and each one of them's reading a book. So it's adorable. Had to print that out. Um, and then this is actually um, March First, I um, I forgot to do an end of February page, but eh, who cares? So this was an early birthday celebration for my grandson, Logan. These are not his glasses. These are Harry Potter plastic glasses that 
his other grandma brought and she made this cake, this little Harry Potter cake with some glasses on. It was kind of all Harry Potter themed. That's his big deal. He, he's read like almost all the books. Um, and then I took um, this birthday card. I can't remember whose birthday card that was because it wasn't his. Maybe I bought it and didn't use it anyway. I just cut it apart and I journaled on the inside of it about his birthday. So anyway, um, that is it for the end of February. And then I'll be doing March or part of March in my next video. I hope you enjoyed this. Please leave me a comment. Hit the like button and the subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave those down below. Thank you.